All right, what's up, guys? Today I'm with Imran, one of my students, and uh, he's just gonna walk you or walk us through his experience inside our program, Developer Pro. And yeah, bro, what's up? Hey, what's up, guys? Or ladies? Guy. <laughs> so you've been in the program for like some time? How long? Yeah, about two weeks, I believe. All right, cool. Give or take. Yeah. Give or take. And I'm I'm taking this uh, interview with you because you've been having some really great progress, and right. maybe you can share some insights uh, into what's happening here, so other people know what to expect if they decide to join, or maybe why they shouldn't join in the first place, right? Because that's also important. I don't want to work with literally everyone, um, so we can kind of qualify who's right and who's not right for for this stuff. So. What made you uh, get into programming? Like you could have done affiliate marketing, TikTok drop shipping, you know, sell underwear on eBay. Like you could have done so many other things. Why programming? Um, that's funny that you said that because I tried drop shipping, <laughs> but it was like a failed thing. Um, yeah. Why I wanted programming? It's because um, it's it's the thing. It's the thing that gives you freedom and you only see successes, success stories where it's someone developing something and creating something. And this is um this is a kind of field where you can create something without physical effort, but it mm -hmm. takes a lot of mental capacity to do. So yeah. unless you want to build like do construction, um this is like construction but at home or in your computer. I was actually thinking about this today because you see this, uh, I'm in Dubai right now, and there is this thing, Burj Khalifa, which is like a very, very tall skyscraper, I guess. Right. And to build that, you need so much investments, right? But right. with software, like if you have a really good idea and somehow you manage to market it, you can yeah. build something else profitable, I guess. I don't know. I'm just, right. wait. I All you need is time. Software. Yeah. Yeah. You need time and skills, right? Exactly. Cool. So right now, you are about to start learning React. Oh, yeah. And like, how was your experience in, in this past two, three weeks working through my roadmap, the project that I showed you and whatnot? Like, what was the difference compared with what you were doing before? And we can talk um, about it my experience with joining this program is that um i didn't know what i didn't know i think one of your videos uh spoke about this but it it exposed me to a lot of tools that's available mm -hmm. and how they work i mean before joining i was do i was practicing with uh, katas already mm -hmm. but it was more like google searching and then copy pasting code where in this in this program you kind of have to go a little deeper than that, like understanding how these tools work. And when I talk about tools, I'm talking about uh, or, or methods, uh, mm -hmm. JavaScript methods. Mm -hmm. And it's easy to just go online and copy someone's um, code, but to recreate it and also applying it and knowing when to apply it is um, it's something uh, that's new to me. Mm -hmm. And right now I'm towards I'm towards the end of the advanced javascript portion of it and this involves data which i've never done before when you when you try to um build an application with vanilla javascript but including data and i thought i was i thought i knew my stuff in javascript but including that variable that element which mm -hmm. is data um kind of made me work <laughs> projects um takes a lot longer than usual because you remember i was just putting our uh, code reviews code reviews now it's taking a little longer because data is involved yeah it takes uh like in the beginning you have like code review after code review and then you take a yeah. couple of days in between um um submissions i guess but yeah. uh i always i always say uh hey focus on data focus on data in my youtube videos right right and when you actually experience it you understand why it's so important, right? Yeah. And you you kind of, 
you kind of put it into the program so smoothly because in the beginning it was just like um you know the visual stuff the ui stuff and then all of a sudden the to-do app comes up <laughs> and then i'm like why why isn't my my application not reflecting the data and it's because you know you talk through it and you're you're, you're not course. thinking uh, you're not thinking the right way right and what were you doing um, before you met me? Because I guess that's um, because you are not a complete beginner, right? So, um, I I was doing online courses, so I was doing a lot of those. Uh, should I name some? If you want, like I was doing a coding phase, and then there's this guy named um, Job Ready Programming, and then a lot of Udemy courses, but it's once you finish an online course and then you're just like okay now do your I don't I have to rewatch videos which and it's just it doesn't stick and the the concepts don't stay had for some reason mm -hmm. because of lack of practice I guess mm -hmm. so you have like a lot of knowledge but you cannot really apply it anything my internet is yeah i would say a lot of it's because of knowledge i would program but before that i was just exposed to all these tools never knew when to use it never applied it like i i applied the coding practices but they don't ex no one's there to explain why i it should be implemented this way rather than this way. Mm -hmm. you know? And uh, what do you, what do you think made all the difference for you? Like, because I have an online course as well. It's like a video course, right? With with the challenges and whatnot. Like, what do you think right. was different in this approach versus the other stuff that you've tried in the past? Because the other guys that you've mentioned, I, I guess they are educators they have a reputation they have their own reviews they have like all this stuff like what was the secret sauce i guess in this whole thing so the online courses i i uh took before they always they usually market it hey you get a hundred hours like the more hours of videos the more it feels like the more um you get out of it but that's that doesn't count the hours of practice and this is what the program focuses more on it's the practice so it's the video you do have videos but they're not they're only enough for you to um figure out for yourself mm -hmm. so you would like just expose how it's implemented and then if it doesn't work then you can go research it on yourself or if you really tried, you have someone available like yourself, Christian, um, to help you out. And it's it's that availability that um, makes a difference because those past online courses, I would say, hey, this is deprecated um, code. I can't use this or um, the implementation is not working. And like almost zero, like almost 100% they wouldn't answer because there's just too many people buying their online course. There's no one there to like really help you. And mm -hmm. um, the amount of hours it takes to watch those videos is just too much. And you would have to re-watch them if you don't understand a concept. And that's, if it's not going to stick the first time, it's not going to stick the second time. Yeah. I had the same issue. Like I don't have the patience to watch uh, an online course. Like yeah, it's super super boring I, I and not only about programming right in, in courses in general I buy courses and I'm like just get to the point tell me like what to do right now <laughs> you know kind of thing right. also uh, there like when I watch your video I also have this comfort that even if I don't understand that video I still can re-ask ask you in our um, call-in sessions mm -hmm. so I know that you're there <clears throat> and what do you think about the the group calls because i'm not really sh showing that on the website but we have group calls we have community with not 24 7 support but like 
you ask something today and when you wake up you get the answer because we have different mm -hmm. types um so what what do you, do you like about the the group calls or do you like the group calls me i personally like them they are my favorite part of the day to be honest i do i, I look forward to them all the time and it's like you're not only learning your own mistakes but you can kind of see the mistakes the advanced students have and what to look out for mm -hmm. and the mistakes that beginner students have and i still learn from beginner students when they made a mistake i'm ashamed to say this but before meeting you like i knew how to you we always have problems centering a div right before you i i knew I knew how or how to use Flexbox, but it would be only copy paste. Okay, this doesn't work, this doesn't work. But when you were correcting um some beginner students a few times, after that it just started clicking. So then I started implementing Flexbox. Mm -hmm. And it's just because it's good to see um the beginners, you correcting beginners code because it's repetitious. Once it um once I see that happening all the time it starts to fill in the gaps because when I came in, I already knew HTML, CSS. So I knew like the general scopes, but in between the gaps, those small little um, holes, it fills up because you see it in your uh, beginner students. In terms yeah. of the advanced students, it's like you start to gain the concepts of it. You don't quite under, I don't quite understand it, but I can see the uh, concept of data flow and how things should be organized in terms of um, that, because I'm not yet in the React portion of it, but. Yeah, you, and I, it's, yeah. it's sorry to interrupt, but it's the same, like whenever I make a video, like how to become a developer, you know, I always break it up in like a few steps, HTML and CSS part, beginner JavaScript, learn the syntax, then build the small apps, what you've done so far, then the advanced apps, which you are about to finish, then React. So there are like, six seven eight phases you know yeah. and then i cover those in like 10 minutes but what people fail to understand uh or yeah fail to understand uh, i guess is that in between phase one and phase two there are three weeks of work yeah you know and then and that's it the thing about that's important about the work is to see your mistake my, my mistakes because the thing about the online courses is that almost all of them they don't show their mistake it's like a perfect coding thing like without any errors and if they do have errors it's at their advanced level so you as a beginner i don't understand how you made that mistake because i only know my mistakes mm -hmm. because um the the whoever is doing the course it's their course and they're at a higher level and i don't make that high level mistakes because i'm still at the low level stuff so when you do code reviews and you're checking our stuff, I understand my mistakes. And when you correct them, I understand them. And also the beginners students, I understand them too. That's why I could learn from them. Well, with the React stuff, because they're advanced, I don't understand their mistakes. I can just get the concepts. But that's also one of uh, a good reason why your program works very well. And also, also I was thinking today is... It sounds a bit cringy, but I don't think it's my program anymore because I think it's our program because we kind of make it in this way. You know what right, I mean? Yeah. Because it's like everyone has some sort of contribution, like someone finds something, like for example, Ed today, he found out about that CK, CQW thing and mm -hmm. scroll snap and all that stuff. Like uh, the program is like, it's like our program at the end of the day, you know, sounds, sounds a bit right, cringy, right. I know, for whoever is watching this, but... Yeah, it's it's made for the student with the student, you know. And yeah. have you tried like learning JavaScript or like React? I mean JavaScript, yeah, but have you tried learning React or Angular or Vue by yourself before you joined? I tried Angular. Um it was, the simple reason was that um I I thought it was uh it, it's not a popular um framework so i thought i would get i figured i would get hired faster if there's like not in demand <laughs> but it's just it's just when you watch those videos um two things come in mind like is this gonna work or am i in the right path yeah because 
you're when you're purchasing online courses, you're just given these videos and these projects, and you might get a certificate at the end, and it's just um you also think about whether these videos are updated recently because mm -hmm. a lot of things get deprecated a lot of things um are change because you know technology grows fast so maybe conventions change as well mm -hmm. um but if you have someone uh to coach you they'll give you up-to-date stuff in real time you know and best practices yeah what so, i like what i liked about you when uh, in the beginning, like the first first week or so, bro, you are so new here. I can't even say like a lot of time ago. <laughs> but you're like, I'm, I was telling you do this, and you're like, okay, coach, I'll do it. And yeah, then, like another cool thing, like why I brought you here is because you had like a very basic challenge to do, like for example, the simple calculator, and then you kept adding stuff to it, like. I told you, you've done that extra thing with the, what's the name of that guy? Uh, cool. You had that guy with the bicycle that was coming in. Oh, the, the, the puppet, the jigsaw puppet from Saw. Yeah, that, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and yeah. then you made it and I was like, okay, if the error times out, show this download uh, virus, virus download. <laughs> yeah. animation. Like how how easy is it for you to like manipulate the DOM with JavaScript and like freestyle? Do you find yourself being able to freestyle with whatever idea comes to you, whatever challenge comes to you right now after like going through this stuff? Wait, when before you told me to do that, like I didn't think I could do it until mm -hmm. I, I was pushed to do it. Well, mm -hmm. not a push, but you know. Yeah encouraged to do it and after doing it now i'm just like okay <laughs> i can probably do more than this if i put in the time um because i was after i did that i was like oh snap i'm pretty impressed not to like you know put, right. pat myself in the shoulder but yeah. i didn't know i could do something like that thing is like like i guess the thing that people gain the most by being in in the program is like some guidance because sometimes like most of the time like people have like a lot of workforce right they they are motivated they want to learn it they want to go for it but they just don't know in like what direction to go you know and uh, i guess that's also, the thing. also one more thing is that if you're self-guided if you don't have any a coach like you may know this much and um re for real but you'll only push yourself just below it but if you have a coach that coach will push you a little bit past what you know but if you get stuck you can ask for help from your coach and then you can bring yourself a lot higher and then your coach will keep pushing you up there because with me when i was trying to learn these stuff by myself i wouldn't get past what i don't know because one i was afraid oh no one's gonna be able to help me and two I was afraid that I would just be wasting my time and stuff like that. And um, that's why I think it's important to have someone outside of yourself to sort of look at you and be like, I think you can do this. You can add this feature in there. You know enough to do that. Yeah. And, um, and I see this a lot with like high performers, you know, they are good because I meet like, types of like hundreds of types of people like at all different levels you know and yeah. sometimes i can see like this guy has talent but he's limited by himself you know yeah, like i can see exactly. like he's here and he's mm -hmm. like okay what am i gonna gain if i join this program i need to spend this money this time what if he's not gonna give me that result you know but what he doesn't know is that if he's here like i can just double him like in a couple of right. weeks and he doesn't even recognize that he can do all that stuff until you push him yeah. or her to do um to add these features and stuff like that. That's that's happened to me when you asked to add in feature. I didn't realize I could do these things. Yeah. And this is not the I know like whenever you hear like especially in this coding stuff, you know, like supportive, supportive, 
I'm not supportive in a walk way, but I'm more like that coach guy that's gonna, you know, make fun of you. Like not make fun of you, right, but like, right, right. like hey, come on, bro, like do more, you know. But not in a right, walk right. way, you know what I mean? Uh, yeah. If anyone is watching and is wondering what kind of support. <laughs> yeah. So like, <laughs> like one month in, bro. Like I don't know. How do you see the next few months going for you? Like based on what the next. Doing? Man, I'm just looking forward to start to react. But my, I think my problem is that when I'm almost finishing something, at the end, I start to reward myself before I succeed. And so right now, that's why it's taking a while for me to finish uh, Pomodoro because I'm like, eh, I did a lot. Let me just relax. Mm -hmm. I need to. I need to get back on track. But I'm looking forward to um going to react, doing the react challenges and work on the project because. My, in my thought, my my goal coming into this program is to, um, you know, get a job. Yeah. So that's what I'm working towards. So that's why I was trying to, I was doing things quick, quick, quick. Right, but uh, <laughs> you, you have to learn how to pace yourself to not burn out or to give yourself like rewards uh, that are necessary. That's why I took my time with the to do app because I was like, oh, something I'm missing. There's a piece I'm missing in my mind. So I'm going to take my time doing the to do app. And I finally finished it. <laughs> but I, I think it's better to like go for it and come to me with uh, with something half finished so I right, can right. give you feedback while you're doing it. Who do you think uh, this program is for? Like, who do you think is going to benefit from going through this? Okay. Um, to be honest, if you if you are motivated, I, I don't want to say motivated, if you're disciplined, if you're disciplined and if this is a kind of field that you really, really want to work with and you're committed to the program, if you do the challenges, then this is the program because you can you can have all the money in the world you can have motivation but motivation is fleeting you cannot be motivated one day then be unmotivated another day so commitment and consistency if you have two of those then this is your program at any level like i said you can learn you can still learn if you're in like a intermediate you can still learn from um people who are beginners Mm -hmm. And you can look up to the people who are um, past your level too. So like kind you of have being, commitment. Yeah. Being well. humble, you know, about it as well. Yeah. Yeah. That, to be honest. Yeah. Go ahead. Go, go for it. To be honest, if like I a long time ago I had the money to, you know, get a coach and stuff like that. But I was all about um I can do this on my own. I can do this on my own. If your ego and your pride can hold you back. And if you look at the world's greatest athletes, the greatest leaders, the smartest people, they all had coaches, advisors, and teachers. And that's what made them great. It's You can do things on yourself. Like I, I taught HTML, CSS by myself. But if I went back in time, I would tell myself, listen, it's not the question of you can or can't do it. It's the question of it'll be faster if you had someone to guide you. And better. And better. Because best practices, I don't think that's, best practices changes a lot. And that's something, it takes time to develop a video course. So you don't even know if it's up to date, those courses. Mm -hmm. So with this program, you have a coach that's there live revealing your code and telling you what's the best way to um, build this. Mm -hmm. And I feel like, especially in this coding community, there's like this big fight between self-taught, which is like the best way you are a real G if you do it. self -taught. That's all ego, man. Yeah. I, I was that guy. I was like, yo, I could do this by myself. Like you have like self-taught guys that are calling the bootcamp people stupid for spending the money or yeah. for like being scammed or whatever. But in the same time, the self-taught guys, they spend three years learning HTML and CSS, you know, or like... Yeah, exactly. That's me. 
<laughs> but that that's it's just it was for html css is easy for me now but to learn something that easy in that length of time for a long time it's not worth it just hire someone and even like i give a i give away the the free html and css program for free yeah. um i have like a school community second link in the description if you're watching this on youtube yeah. and people that just do that they they just get results you know like because they people don't understand that information is for free either oh. yeah 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 people don't understand that the information is for free uh but the type of information you are fed is also important well is my internet uh, my internet do, 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 do. let me see all right i'm back okay. yeah okay. <laughs> So I was saying, uh, like, the information is for free. Uh, there is so much information. That's one of the problems, right? Oh, much information. Yeah. But we gotta not, talk about that. Yeah, not not all information is created equal, you know, because there are certain ways of challenging people that you know I have developed because I've been working with people for the past three years, you know, three or almost four years. So. I know what problem you'll have. Like, I know exactly what problem you'll have next week. Like, I can... Mm -hmm. Sometimes I don't even try your code. Probably you've noticed that. Yeah. I don't even... I had a few bugs. I mean, they work, but I had a few bugs. I went back to my previous codes. But I plan on going back and fixing them in the future. But I, I, I don't even play with your app to see if it works. I just look at the code. Because yeah. I know exactly where you'll be making the mistake. And... Like I already know, like whatever problems you'll have, you know, um, yeah. and that cannot be taught in free code camp, code academy, and any Udemy course, you know. So, and it's self-taught. This the thing about that is that there there's so much information. Not only you have to research for the information, but you have to find out if it's the right information. You know, yeah. there's a lot of uh, you know, a lot of it gets discontinued and stuff like that and can i can i tell you why i almost chose a boot camp mm -hmm. called foundry uh-huh i almost picked that that boot camp um but why can i explain why i go for it chose yours before theirs yeah i thought they had a schedule they had two types of boot camp camps one is um where they have their live schedule which i couldn't do because yeah. um you know work uh, i work yeah. and the other one is like the sessions and the thing about um it was for full stack c sharp uh, um, i believe um but the thing i didn't like about boot camps is that i just didn't think that uh, they would have the availability of um having someone to individually correct your code i, I would feel like that they have a deadline for everything and you would have to um learn quickly within that deadline frame mm -hmm. and with your your course it's it's just very it's very um customized to individual students the only thing you need to do is just be committed and uh, be consistent show up pretty much yeah just show up and is that the course more expensive just way more expensive way more expensive do you feel like i'm undercharging because i sometimes feel like <laughs> um yes because can i can i say it's like it's unlimited so man. yeah it's unlimited yeah. <laughs> yeah it's like it's just a one-time payment yeah you should move over to subscriptions i was thinking but uh i'm thinking like I don't want to charge more, even though I, I, I've i seen boot camps that charge four times what I do. Yeah. But I just... And in, in a limited time frame, too. So after that, you have no access to them. Yeah. The, the way I think about it is, like, how can I make it a win-win for everyone? 
Um, because yeah, I could charge four times the amount, but I just don't see how it's gonna be a benefit for the student. Right. I mean, I would work with less people. That would be fine. Uh, he's, I don't know. I just feel weird about charging like, I don't know, 24, 30 Gs, like whatever I've seen. And uh, it's like, I just couldn't justify that. I couldn't. You know, it's also difficult to pay you. I don't know. There was like a couple of texts I had, yo, I'm ready to pay you. Can you send me the link? <laughs> But you're like, yeah, and then you just don't respond after that. And I'm like, hello, can you send me the link? So I can yeah, that's the rest? Usually, yeah, I have that problem. I, I don't follow up with that. Um yeah. uh but yeah, man, like I think you know, um the type of person that would benefit from this would be like someone that's yeah, motivated, but not like like a snowflake motivated. Someone that yeah. really wants to make a change and it's willing to work for like six. If, if you're here to, if you're here to have fun, that's not it. I mean, they, can have, they will you have. They will have. You can have fun as as a byproduct. Yeah, but your fo the focus has to be there. You know. Yeah. yeah. We cool. definitely do have fun during our calls. Then. Yeah, <laughs> especially especially at the end. Yeah, yeah. Cool, man. Um, I mean. I guess that's it for now. Um, I'll hit you up in another month or two once you're done with React. See what changed in the meantime. If you have any closing thoughts or closing ideas, go for it. If not, we'll wrap it up. Um, I'm probably just going to reiterate what I said before, but if you, have, if you have the finances to afford someone to hire you and you're not doing it, you're only doing it because of pride. And uh, I had that pride and I was doing things on my own, but it took longer than it should have. I Right now, if, if I hired someone, I would have been working on projects on React at the moment or even be employed doing React projects and stuff like that. And um, like I said before, you know, all the greatest people who are great at what they do, they had someone that uh, they learned from like a live someone i don't mean like a recording of someone mm -hmm. um, uh, yeah just take the leap i think it's a free evaluation right yeah yeah just take the leap and it doesn't hurt to just uh see what's going on and you know what bro i was i think you know some people are literally not ready like it doesn't hurt enough yeah you know there is like this story with this this dog that was sitting outside of a gas station and it was whimpering, you know? And then this customer comes in and asks, hey, why is this dog whimpering? And the, the employee from there was like, oh, he sits on a nail. So why is he not moving off the nail? Well, it doesn't hurt bad enough. Right. Do you know what I mean? So like most people prefer to stay with their pain for an unnecessary long period of time instead of just yeah. fixing pain and getting to the end goal. If it, that's so true. If it's not too painful, for instance, when, when you're like sitting and it's a little breezy, it's a little cold, but you're like, eh, you know, I'm comfortable. But when it comes winter, <laughs> then you're going to move your ass to a more warmer place. Yeah, Sorry I mean, like, like, no, it's all right, bro. Like I curse all the time. But it, like this thing is so true for like a lot of things, you know, not, not just yeah. Like you can have a bad position, you know, and you sit like that on uh, on the chair for a long period of time, and then suddenly neck hurts. Right, right. Uh, and then you're like, "Fuck, I cannot fix this." And then back yeah. hurts, and then suddenly you walk like a fucking pretzel, you know. Yeah, exactly. And then it's harder to fix now than if you'd have taken care of it earlier. So. And time is the only thing you cannot buy back. Yeah, that's just. Just find someone who knows their stuff. <laughs> That's deep philosophical uh, uh, discussions on this topic. Yeah, yeah. Cool, man. But it's something that everyone can relate to, I'm sure. For sure. It's just, yeah, they want to make sure that this is the right uh, thing to do. They want to make sure, like, 
I'm not going to run away with their money or whatever. And uh, yeah. if their time is going to be well spent, you know, I guess that's, yep. you know, I still, you know what I did learn from those online courses, what mm -hmm. I don't want in a teacher, <laughs> how I don't want to learn mm -hmm. that this is not my way of learning. So then that's why I pursued a, a coach. Yeah. Fair enough, man. I guess, um, you can only learn by like experiencing multiple things. Yeah. And you'll learn you how not to learn. Uh, not not how not to learn, but you'll learn in the ways you that's not effective for you to learn. Exactly. Cool, bro. Well, thanks for being on the channel, man. Really appreciate okay. it. Boom. Uh, and if you guys want a similar experience and if you want to get really good at code really really fast what you have to do link in the description apply let's have a chat and see if this is the right thing for you peace